Welcome back to Team D Sports. I'm Evan with Michael Babcock. What's Robert up? Tal. Social media crisis manager. Yeah, he, he'd Tal. like to think so, but you got no clients, <laughs> so it makes you not one. He it's might okay. now with the new Maybe strategy. Maybe down the line. All right, let's talk about uh, Julio Jones and the Atlanta Falcons. They suck. They're not doing good this year. I mean, Julio Jones is fantastic. He's one of the best wide receivers, if not the best wide receiver in the NFL. Maybe, maybe, maybe you should so start saying that, hey, having a, a marquee wide receiver is not the recipe for success. Hey, yes, Robert, Robert, let me tell you something, Robert. Yeah. A premium wide receiver has never or – not in the last 15 years uh, have they won a Super Bowl. Look there it up. There you go. There yeah. you go. I mean, it doesn't happen. Jerry Rice was pretty good. Jerry Rice won. O- Odell Beckham, Julio Jones, Antonio Brown. None <laughs> of these guys have uh, Super Bowl rings. You can yeah. win. You can win a Super Bowl without a marquee running back and without a marquee uh, wide receiver. This is true. Yeah. Anyway, let's talk about Julio Jones, right? The Falcons are 1-7, and seven and he needed to get away from his team. So where did he go? He went to the Bahamas. But I think it's interesting who he chose the vacation with. We got a video of him hanging out at the SLS Baja Mar in Nassau, which is an amazing hotel, where they welcomed Julio and his former teammate, Roddy White. Roddy White was there. Two wide receivers. They were buddies back when they played together. Roddy, of course, retired. Uh, but I think it's interesting that they're they still really tight. They're still close enough to the vacation together. No. So when Julio was drafted, Roddy White was the main guy, the number one yep. wide receiver uh, for the Atlanta Falcons. This right. is back in the Michael uh, Vick uh, days, right. right before Matt Ryan came on. And uh, Julio Jones speaks about all the time how it was a hard adjustment to the NFL. And Roddy White, unlike a lot of superstars who won't do this, took him under his wing and really helped him out. I know. See, I hear all those stories, but like my question when you hear that stuff is, okay, that's cool. Where's Calvin Ridley then? Why, <laughs> why did they invite Calvin Ridley, the young wide receiver that's there to come along with them and hang out with these two guys. Why didn't they invite us? I want to go to the Bahamas. Yeah, I guess but that's true. I, I understand what the uh, Alabama guys, you know, right. Julio Jones and Calvin Ridley. But you know, I think so, I think sometimes those relationships takes years. Well, so, and some to, guys to are not trying to do that. Some guys are not trying to help somebody take their job. To be honest with you, I think it takes but, a but, special uh, type uh, Cal- of person. Calvin Ridley's not taking Julio's job. I'm I mean, sure Roddy on. White not the same yeah, thing. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Why not? Maybe. I mean, he's a talented player. Yeah. He, he, he's more inexpensive. You never know. I'm just saying, there are guys who don't like to help other guys, don't like to coach other guys up who could possibly take their job. I think there are more guys like that than there are Roddy Whites who take Julio Jones under their wing. If you like what you just saw, videos, great stories, and crazy photos, we've got more like it every single night on TMZ Sports on FS1.